Hey guys, and welcome back to How to Make Elements from Household Materials. So, today's element is going to be manganese. Now, in a previous video, which I will take down soon, um, I made manganese metal through a thermite reaction between aluminum powder and manganese dioxide. However, this was rather, um, not the best result, because it was, uh, such a very energetic reaction due to the very fine particles of aluminum that um, all my manganese metal practically burnt away, leaving us with a very small piece of um, manganese metal, but it was magnetic because it had alloyed with the iron, and it just, it didn't go very well. Anyhow, so today we're going to be revisiting this, except we will not be using this extremely fine aluminum powder as we made in a previous video. We'll instead be using something else, because this is so reactive. So, quite by mistake in a previous uh, video, I was meaning to make super fine, ultra fine aluminum powder really quickly, um, using a coffee grinder, but instead, um, we were left with this rather fine, um, s very fine sand-like material, which, um, is very finely powderized aluminum, but you could clearly see the green size, and, um, it's not exactly what we need for most thermite reactions. However, it's perfect for high energetic thermite reactions, such as the reaction of manganese dioxide and aluminum. So, um, this stuff... I, I found out in the previous video, works excellently as a, a reducing agent for manganese dioxide because it doesn't burn so fast that all the manganese eva uh, vaporizes, but um, it, it's also still fine enough to sustain combustion. So today we are going to be reattempting the manganese video using these two um, uh, things. So we'll be first be taking the aluminum powder, and I think I'll weigh out approximately 20 grams of this uh, coarse aluminum powder. Remember, fine aluminum powder will not work because the reaction is so energetic, your manganese metal will vaporize. So I'll weigh out um, 20 grams of that coarse aluminum powder and meet you back. Okay, so we put out our 20 grams right there, and that's the 20 grams of the coarse aluminum powder. And now we need to multiply um, how much manganese dioxide we put in by approximately 2.5. So this manganese dioxide was purchased from a pottery supply store in um, a, uh, Surrey near Vancouver. Um, it's a place in BC, and it's called Green Barns Potter Supply. It was quite a drive as I live several hours away on Vancouver Island, but um, it was worth it because this stuff is very useful. Now, I purchased 500 grams, and it was only about $4, and any pottery store should carry this because it's a very useful black pigment, and it will easily stain things. Anyhow, so we multiply this by 2.5 by however many grams of aluminum we're using. So if we're using 20, we will need... 50 grams of manganese dioxide powder. So we'll go ahead, and my scale turned off, but that's fine, we'll turn it back on, and weigh out 20 grams of manganese dioxide powder. Next, we will go outside and mix them together very, very well in a blender. Um, this can be a coffee grinder or anything, just to get them mixed really well. Alternatively, alternatively you could use a spoon, however, I find a blender much more um, better at mixing things. Anyhow, so we'll go, I'll go ahead and weigh out 50 grams of manganese dioxide. So I ground everything up in the blender to make sure everything's evenly mixed and well mixed and everything. And um, there is a small piece of magnesium ribbon inside this tube. And I'm using a cardboard tube because it won't in introduce any impurities and it should burn away fairly easily while also containing the 70 grams of manganese dioxide and coarse aluminum powder thermite that we have. So I'll go ahead and light it and see if we can get a vigorous reaction. It should be vigorous but not so vigorous that it's going to um, horribly affect our reaction. So uh, that's burning, and there we go. Oh, very, very, very reactive. Wow. Very, very, very reactive. Holy goodness. And it's still not done. Okay, yep, yep. It was just done on a rock so that hopefully everything will be contained. And we have a beautiful bubbling mass, which you can see right here, which... See if we can zoom in a bit. Yeah, that is very, very bright. Okay, so I'll let this cool and we'll see if we got any manganese metal from it. Okay, so we got a huge amount from all that. And you can see there's all the rest of the reaction stuff. And um, here's our old sample of manganese. Exactly, you can barely see it. There's a little teeny dot there of manganese metal, which is not very pure and it's barely anything. Here, with this reaction, most of it didn't vaporize, and we got some beautiful pieces. You can see some of them are beautifully oxidized, making beautiful blue colors, and we even got this beautiful big 
bead of manganese metal, which you can see uh, a little piece of it chipped off, and you can see the beautiful shiny surface on the inside of it. Um, and I might even clean that up because it's so pretty. And you can see some of the um, beads that didn't get oxidized are beautiful and shiny and, and round, and there's a beautiful air bubble cavity. Like, there were some really, really beautiful beads here. So this is definitely new, my new manganese collection. And in a moment, I'll take it inside and weigh it just to see how much we got. Anyhow, so I'm very excited with this. So I'll go ahead and we'll, I'll meet you inside and we'll see how much we got on the scale. So I removed all the manganese metals, zeroed out the scale with the little container, and then inserted all the manganese back in. And you can see we um, proclaimed 7 grams of manganese metal from that 50 grams of manganese dioxide. This isn't actually a terrible yield as thermite reactions are typically very wasteful because there's lots of really, 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 really teeny pieces left in the reaction mixture um, that you just can't get. So this isn't too bad and I'm extremely happy. I mean, we got lots of manganese metal. Anyhow, so this is of course my new element sample. And I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video on how to make manganese metal. Go check out my video on how to make coarse aluminum powder for this reaction if you'd like to see it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.